Tomorrow, dozens of teachers in Medina County will become the first educators in Ohio to receive the COVID-19 vaccine weeks before the state's recommendation. Andrew Horansky explains why, as some are accusing them of cutting in line. In the effort to give out COVID vaccines fairly and effectively in Ohio, people were given dates. And for teachers, it was February 1st, although now there's an exception. Most of our teachers uh, have signed up to either get it or defer it, but most do want it. Dr. Daryl Kubelis is superintendent of Cloverleaf Schools in Medina County, where on Saturday, 84 teachers will get their first shot amid pushback on social media. My 86-year-old mother-in-law hasn't been able to get hers yet, read a post. That stinks. Turns out it was all part of a plan with the Medina Health Department put in place days before the governor announced the state's priorities. At the time, the department had the autonomy to agree. And an agreement was made that we would be able to vaccinate our Cloverleaf staff here on January 16th. And by doing that, we would be able to return on the 19th. When it comes to vaccinating teachers, Ohio may be lagging. Educators in Utah have begun getting doses. Having that extra layer of protection is going to make us feel better. While in Chicago, teachers ordered to return are refusing to go into buildings, saying they're unsafe and instead holding virtual classes outside in the cold. Kubala said vaccines were a way to get the teachers union to resume in-person learning, adding his students desperately need it. I could have kids that are still going hungry that might not have someone picking that food up. The reality is some are in abusive, potentially, situations at home. I have some that have a lack of a supportive environment to do their remote work. Cloverleaf has been fully remote since November. I'm told administrators will not be getting the shot, just teachers, and they'll be getting unused doses, so it will not take away from anyone who is eligible for the vaccine and wants it. In Cleveland, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.